Hello folks, welcome to demonstration video number 15 of my eShop project. In this video, I am going to explain about the basic UI design of my products page of our eShop web application. Compared to the other videos of this series, this video is going to be kind of a short one because this is only about the UI designing. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, I am currently on the home page of our eShop. We can use this drop down menu to access the my products page. Ok, now I am clicking this my products option. As you can see our eShop is not letting us enter the my products page. Ok, now let's check out what's the reason for this. As you can see here on the header section, I am not signed into my user account yet. eShop is not letting us enter the my products page without signing into our user accounts. So wait a moment till I log into my account. Ok, as you can see here now on the header section, now I am signed into my user account. Let's try to access our my products page again. Cool, that attempt was successful. Alright, finally we are on our my products page. Let's check out responsiveness of our page to large and smaller display resolutions. In larger display resolutions, our page view like this. On a device with smaller display resolution, our page will view like this. As you can see, now our page got a more compact view to fit on that resolution. Enough of that, now let's see the design elements of our UI. Going on the classic fashion of our eShop, you can see our basic header section like this. Then you can see our basic footer section on the bottom like this. This page got a kind of a unique second header section too as you can see here. This is seller's use account profile picture. This is seller's first name, then this is seller's last name. Then this is seller's use account email address. As you can see here, this got a title as my products. Then using this button here, a seller can access the page where they can add new products. To the left here, you can see our product sorting section like this. First here is a search bar to search products by name. You can see there is a magnifying glass icon like this. Then we can sort products by the added time. There are two options as newest to the oldest and oldest to the newest. Then we can sort products by their quantity. There are two options as highest to the lowest and lowest to the highest. Finally, we can sort products by their condition. As you can see, there are two options as brand new and used. Then here's the sort button. Then here's a clear button to stop sorting. On this dominant area of our page, we can see product listings. Then to the bottom of this page, you can see our pagination features like this. We can go back and forth between our product listing pages using these options. We can use these arrow marks or page numbers to do that. Inside this product listing, you can see the title here. Then here's the price of the product. This line shows how many product items are left in the stock. Sellers can use these toggle switches to activate or deactivate their product listings. This is the product update button. And this is the product delete button. Ok, now we can get into the code inside of things. So I'm going to the VS code now. We are currently inside myproducts.php file. To keep this running in state, it should be I'm linking some other files inside it. First inside of these head tags, I'm linking bootstrap.css file, then bootstrap icons.css file, then our own style.css file. Then by the end of the body tags, I'm linking bootstrap bundle.js file, then our own script.js file. Inside of this PHP script, I'm including header bar.php file. Inside of that same PHP script, I'm requiring connection.php file to establish the connection with our database. These session codes are checking out whether the user is signed in or not. If they were, they will be able to access the my products page. If they weren't, this is redirecting them back to home page. Then inside of this PHP script, I'm including our footer section.php file. Now let's see the design elements of page body section. As you can see, there are many bootstrap classes and div tags inside of our code. I am setting color of our body background from here. These are the codes of the header section. These codes are set in the user's profile picture inside of that header section. Then these codes are set in seller's first name and last name. These codes are set in seller's email address inside that header section. These are the codes of header title. Then these are the codes of that add product button. 
Okay, then these are the codes of product sorting section. These are the codes of the product search bar. These are the codes of that magnifying glass icon. As usual, we are using an icon that was provided by Bootstrap for this. These are the codes of those radio buttons inside of that sorting section. These are the codes of sort button, then these are the codes of clear button. These are the codes of product listing section. These are codes of an individual product listing. Finally, these are the codes of pagination features. So folks, that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the demonstration number 16. See ya.